we have deployed uh, two coral nurseries at 60 feet and also at um, 90 feet right off of the Aquarius Reef Base, which is FIU's um, and actually the world's only undersea research base. Um, basically what we're doing here is we started working with two species of coral, Orbicella fabulata and Orbicella annularis, and uh, these are two species that while they have been worked on by other restorationists, they're still very new to restoration. We're starting to break these species in for restoration. We're starting to grow up many different fragments of these species for further restoration work. You start off with a coral maybe this big, one piece, and you end up with many of those, and then you've got enough that you can start to put them onto the reef. You start to outplant them from the nursery to the reef, and you can um, actively help in the restoration and conservation. Um, what's special about these nurseries is that they let us look at corals um, across depths. So whereas nurseries are typically um, used to grow corals in relatively shallow waters, perhaps 30 feet or less, um, we have the same original coral colonies fragmented and replicated uh, at 60 and 90 feet. Now this lets us look at the, the growth of these corals as well as the microbes associated with them um, across these depths. In uh, the construction of this nursery early on, we, uh, we had the eager and uh, um, very appreciated help of, of an undergraduate who um, stood out there in, in, the, in the sun and the heat uh, with Dan and I, um, fragmenting and, and mounting um, pieces of coral uh, onto cards, which then went into into these nurseries, which we believe that the, the nursery at 90 feet is actually the, the deepest coral nursery in the world. So Aquarius is a um, undersea habitat. It's the only one dedicated to research in the whole world um, where you can, you spend your whole day underwater, you live there, eat there, everything at Aquarius. Um, so it's, it's about like the size and also the color of a school bus. It's 60 feet-ish underwater. It could be said that uh, working in that saturation of environment at Aquarius really gives researchers the gift of time. Yeah, it makes um, lengthy studies at depth possible that wouldn't really be practical uh, in other ways. And it's really only possible because of generous sponsors, again, uh, like Mr. Medina, who um, made it possible for FIU to, to save Aquarius, really. Um, Noah was ready to, you know, leave this thing unmaintained and the world's only undersea research base would have been lost. Uh, but his generous donation and sponsorship of the program has allowed it to continue.